Josh Scott and his team at JHS Pedals are known for their creativity. But they may have outdone themselves this time. Sweetwater is proud to sponsor Pedals the Musical, a live streamed theatrical production that brings the history of guitar effects to beautiful and ridiculous life. If you've ever wondered what a human crybaby wah would look and sound like, you're in for a special treat. Not only was this a great way to learn about gear, but it was especially great to be able to support a creative community hit hard by the events of this past year with a brand new production. Let's hear from Josh Scott of JHS himself. So Josh, what was the inspiration for Pedals the Musical? Why would you want to make a production about guitar pedals? The inspiration for Pedals the Musical was firstly a uh, kind of a joking idea that I had with my daughter. She's 13. We were in the kitchen singing some goofy song and talking about history and she said, "What if what if Pedals could like sing their story?" And it turned into a full-blown musical um, 8 weeks later. And the inspiration I mean, beyond that was to teach the history and to highlight inventors and their inventions and to just show some of the stories that get overlooked uh, in guitar's history. So what inspired each pedal's unique personality? How did you come up with the songs for each pedal? You know, I sat down with my computer and I said, what would the first pedal be? Well, the, the, the first musical, because I want to do more than one, would be about the 60s. So the first musical character would be the first pedal, the Maestro Fuzz Tone. Genius! Eureka! It's mellow, it's raucous, it's tender, it's raw, it's the Maestro Fuzz Tone. He was made in Kalamazoo, Michigan, but he was kind of invented in Nashville. So I pictured this southern kind of Andy Griffith character, you know, like a like a simple person. Am I a mistake, a transformer that blew, or do I have a destiny entirely new? I just made the character around kind of where he was from and how simple he was. And then you have the tone bender, the next character. So that's London, like 1965, the height of British invasion, British rock blues. And he just had to be kind of he had to be baller. The tone bender jammed with the runs and bear can pay. I'm the tone bender boy we had me on send to stay. So every every pedal had a persona uh, and a character that came from its history and where it was from and what city and the year and that's how I thought through the character development. So which of the pedals or characters in Pedals the Musical is your favorite? Who would you want to hang out with? Let's say they were real. Not that they're not real because there's pedals all around here and I talk to them all the time. I would, I would want to, I would, um, gosh, that's tough. I love them all. I love every one of them and uh, I can't answer that. I can't choose pedals. You know, they have feelings. Are there any honorable mentions or understudy pedals that didn't make it into the show? Yes, there are honorable mentions. We couldn't do it all, and every decade's going to suffer a little bit from this. The Dallas Range Master. You know, he's bright and chipper, a little harsh around the edges. Um, he didn't make it in. Shinai the Japanese company, the Companion Fuzz. It didn't make it in. The Jordan Boss Tone didn't make it in. Maybe we do a musical called Pedals We Forgot. That'd be pretty good, actually. We could do that. Pedals We Forgot. Make a note. Sponsored by Sweetwater. So how do you balance growing JHS pedals and all the fantastic, cool other projects you're involved in, like Pedals the Musical or the Pedal Show? Sometimes I balance it really well, and sometimes I don't. Um... I have a really good team. So JHS is, it is my initials, Joshua Heath Scott, but it's 45-ish people that do so many things. And then specifically on the creative output side, when you look at the musical or the show or the live streams or Instagram or anything, there's a team and they all 
play a pretty big, huge, massive, pivotal part in making things happen. I have a lot of ideas, but if it weren't for the people around me working really hard, you'd never see them. Are you cooking up any new pedals for 2021 that you can tease for us? We are always pulling things out of the oven, so to speak. Um, when you see a pedal released, it probably was started a year and a half to two years earlier. We have some fun stuff coming up this year. I can't really disclose it because then my dealers would get mad at me, like Sweetwater. But Sweetwater's asking. Hmm. It's a real conundrum. I'm just going to choose not to because maybe Sweetwater would like to know, but then they'd also get upset if they knew. If the public knew. That's the problem. Got any other 2021 JHS plans or projects we can look forward to? Pedals the Musical, the 70s. Uh, we're going to try to, we're going to try to knock that out. You're going to see some amazing pedals like... You're going to see the Distortion Plus. You're going to see Boss show up. The Rat. Tell me you don't want to see a rat singing a song. A rat pedal. Maybe the rat has a tail. Like a little tail that drags the ground. I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe I'm giving away too much. Thanks so much for talking with us, Josh. And be sure to check out Pedals the Musical from JHS. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and remember to start at Sweetwater for all your music instrument and pro audio needs. Thanks for watching.